Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jupiter James and this is Astro Motivation where I awaken the astrologer within you and aim to give you a little inspiration and motivation per your unique placement within your birth chart. You know, I really do feel that before a time of technology, we were a culture and a society that were better able to look up at the stars and understand exactly where our dreams were and how to get them. And so if that sounds good to you, let's go ahead and get into it. Today we're going to get into a very, very cool topic within astrology and that is how to find out if you will gain inheritance in your life. Now, inheritance comes in many different forms. Usually it comes to the form of family, right? The mother or the father or the guardian. And also, inheritance can also come in the form of any money that you do not personally own, okay? So that can be through lawsuits. That can be through um, marriage, right? That can be through lottery at times, right? That is inheritance. Know that some words like inheritance when it comes to the astrological guys can take on these different meanings, okay? But at its truest sense, inheritance means any money gain that you did not personally work for, okay? So this is how with in these techniques that I give you and these placements that I give you and I believe this is going to be the top five placements for that as me being an astrologer seeing the top five placements that a person will be afforded these things this is how you will see if a person will gain inheritance all right in one of those ways that I've just mentioned okay and so if that is, sounds exciting to you let's go ahead and get into it all right the first top indicator of inheritance in the birth chart is Venus in the eighth house or any of the Venus ruled signs in the eighth house. Okay. Like Libra or Taurus in the eighth. If you have Taurus, Libra, or Venus in the eighth house, this definitely shows that you are going to be someone who gains inheritance over the course of your life in any of the ways that I've mentioned in the intro of this video. Okay. So you will also find that if inheritance is coming through the family right it could also show that it'll be coming through a woman within your family not necessarily your mother or yeah not just your mother but it could be an aunt it could be a grandmother it could be your sister right this is how it will manifest when you have venus or venus ruled signs in the eighth house okay let me know if this resonates with you and let me know if that's something that has manifested for you because if not it may in the future okay the second indicator within the birth chart that I feel is a telltale sign of inheritance, all right, is sun in the eighth house or any sun ruled sign in the eighth house, like Leo, all right? So if you have Leo in the eighth or sun in the eighth, this shows that the father will leave inheritance. It also shows that the father is a great beneficiary in the person's life as far as giving them money. You know, their father may be their first sugar daddy, so to speak, okay? This is what is seen here when you have sun in the eighth house or Leo in the eighth. It also may show that through marriage, you know, of course, inheritance is gained, things of that nature. You know, you being very susceptible to just getting people to give you things or big, large amounts of money just being dawned on you that you haven't quite worked for, right? That is something that happens with my sun in eighth housers or my Leo in eighth housers, okay? So let me know if this resonates with you and also let me know if you have experienced that type of phenomenon in your life where your father feels that they just have to give you things. They, they give you their credit card. They are able to, to be your co-signer or your guarantor. They're always helping you, okay? Or your, your uh, father ruled guardian in your home. You know, the dominant character in your home will be that type of beneficiary for you, okay? Or you will find that later in life, after their death, that they leave an inheritance from you. Or you will be someone who would be very good or very susceptible to winning lawsuits or winning the lottery or right or just getting windfalls of money out of nowhere this is the phenomenon that happens when you have sun in eighth house or leo in the eighth house okay wealth through marriage wealth in general is something that these people are going to be navigating through and just they don't really have to work as hard as other people to get it that is what will happen okay so let me know if this resonates with you let me know if you are having that type of experience and let me know if there are also any nearby planets within that situation that you have going on. And I will let you know if that is also adding a layer or feeding into the experience of what you are presently having or what you will experience in the future, all right, as far as inheritance goes, all right? You have a good one. The third indicator within the birth chart is Jupiter in the eighth house, 
okay? When you have Jupiter or Jupiter ruled signs in the eighth house, this is gonna show that for you, you're gonna be someone that uh, really gets money in, again, you're gonna have sugar daddies up the yin yang. You're gonna be someone that gets sugar mamas up the yin yang. I mean, whatever your orientation or whatever you like, that is what this will show. Also, you getting inheritance just in general. Remember my explanation of inheritance in the intro of this video, right? You will be able to gain money in any of the manner of those ways. Very, you, you will be more susceptible than others in order to gain it in that manner, okay? So look out for it. Let me know in the comments if there are any nearby planets of your Jupiter, or if there is anything, if you have Pisces or even Sag in the eighth. Yeah, if you have Pisces, Sag, or Jupiter in the eighth house, let me know what else is in that eighth house with those placements or planets, and I will let you know how else you may experience or come upon money that you don't quite work for. Inheritance, okay? The next indicator within the chart is gonna be second lord in the eighth house, okay? If you have second lord in the eighth house or the eighth lord in the second house, this is a very, very, very prevalent type of relationship within the chart that shows you will gain inheritance or hidden money or you make money in very hidden ways or you get windfalls of money or make money in secretive types of industries or jobs or things of that nature, you are more susceptible to gain inheritance. And the definition that I explained in the intro of this video, okay, this is what this would show in your life. Let me know if you have that relationship. Now, this may be blocked if you have um, it being under the Saturn type of Lords. Like if you have your Lord of the second house being ruled by Capricorn or Saturn, or yeah, Capricorn or Saturn, and sometimes Aquarius, if that is the planet that is the Lord that is going to the second house of the eighth, or the eighth to the second, sometimes that may be blocked or it may happen much sooner or later in life. But that is a big relationship in the life of a person who could gain inheritance in the ways that I have mentioned, okay? And lastly, this indicator is going to be the last indicator in the chart that shows me one of the telltale blinking red neon signed placements that show inheritance, inheritance, inheritance is moon or cancer in the eighth house. Okay, this shows that you will gain uh, money or inheritance through the mother. All right, through the mother's passing or just the mother can be a great beneficiary to you and wants to give you money at times, all right? You may also have the same relationship going on if you have fourth lord going into the eighth house or the eighth lord going into the fourth house. You may inherit the family home, okay? The mother leaves the home in the will for you, okay? This is the inheritance in which you will gain. It will be specifically geared towards the mother or the motherly guardian that you grew up with will leave these things to you in her passing or inheritance or trust funds. Things of that nature is what is seen here with this type of placement, all right? Those were my top five indicators. Know that these are not the only indicators in the chart. These are just the, the most obvious ones in the chart and where I immediately don't have to use a lot of brain power within looking at a chart to show, oh, yep, this person will get inheritance sometime in their life. Know that there are millions of other types of indicators within the chart. And the only way that I can see those things and if that is a potential for you is through seeing your specific chart, all right? But no, even outside of that, there are very many others. Let me know if there are other types of placements in your chart that you may feel or think that would give you inheritance. And I will let you know if that's a yay or nay type of placement or indicator. If not, know that I am always available um, for birth chart readings and to be able to tell you all of the ways that you are able to come upon money or if you are susceptible to that or if you are going to experience that in some time of your life. All right. You have a beautiful, blessed day. I'm wishing you all the best and many blessings. Bye.